All right, good evening. What's up? How you doing? Good morning. Wherever you're watching this video, this is ZTV back with another video. And I would like to thank all my subscribers, all my listeners and viewers who've watched my content over these last couple of weeks. And whatever time you decide to tune in. And this is going to be a video that one of the um, one of my subscribers had requested. One of them that watched my recent video I did on uh, Carcino for Life said that he wants to get my opinion, my take on these two uh, individual pre preachers. You know, and that he just want to get my opinion and what I think about the situation. And I'm going to um, get my take on it. And I want to let everybody know that before I continue, if my, this video offends you, you ain't got to watch it. Okay, just, let's keep the comment section. Don't I don't want nobody saying I'm getting ready to go to hell. I don't want nobody try to talk down on me or whatever. Like let's let's keep it clean. I understand that when it comes to these two individuals, um, these two pastors, you know, people got their opinions, people got their favorites. Straightway and um and First Church of Philadelphia where Geno Jennings and Pastor Dow reside in their respective uh towns. Okay, I understand some people may uh may feel some type of way. But I, this is just my opinion. You know, this is just the way I see things. And, um, yeah, if you're going to uh, comment, just, just please you know, make a make an educated comment. You know, teach me something I don't know. You know but don't sit me here. And we're supposed to be all children of God. This is supposed to be a debate, right? Those, these two are supposed to debate. So I just want to think, I'll just, I'll just, if you're going to comment, let me just see your opinions of what you think. But don't knock me for how I feel about the situation. Now that that's out of the way, let me just say this here. And I think Pastor Dow is winning the war between him and Pastor Gino Jennings. I believe Pastor Dow is defeating Gino. And I say that for one reason only is because Pastor Gino Jennings, for those who have uh, been following him, been watching him over the last nine months like I have, uh, Gino has basically recently said in one of his services that he's willing to have an open debate at his church. He's willing to debate anybody on his platform. In one of his episodes, you can find it. It's somewhere out there. I can't find it now, but you can find it yourself. Gino, out of his own mouth, said that he'll openly challenge anybody. This man has openly challenged. This man has called out pastors. And I'm going to show you a little bit later on in the video. Some examples, but these men has called he's he's called out pastors, right? Joel Osteen, he's called out TD Jakes, Crepo Dollar. This man said he'll debate Denzel, he'll debate Samuel Jackson, he'll debate anybody from the LGBTQ, he'll debate he'll debate politicians. This man said he'll even debate one of the Ku Klux Klan members. This man said he'll debate Donald Trump and one of the, the people that support him with the MAGA hats. This man has said he'll debate uh Joe Biden supporters, the Democrats. Right, Gino Jennings did say that. Now I can't make this up. I, this what I'm telling you, I can't tell a lie. I'm a man of God, right? I'm a, I'm a man of faith. I can't tell a lie. This man has actually said that out of his own mouth. Uh, Pastor Gino Jennings has said that he'll debate anyone on his platform that that disagree. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell you what's happened and why Pastor Dow continues to make videos about him, which he has every right to. So, so for recently, Pastor Dow uh, challenged uh, Pastor Gino Jennings to what you see on the screen. Debate on marriage, divorce, and remarriage. And uh, Pastor Dow said he's willing to uh, meet with him at a mutual battleground because that's what you're supposed to do. And Pastor Dow wanted to make this an event, which I feel I would, I would actually want to see. I would like to see these two men perspective having an actual debate like you would in an actual uh, political presidential election. Because it's us that all believe on the Most High, whether you call them Jesus or Yahweh, right, whatever you call them, we, it, we, I feel it's good for everybody to be educated on the Bible. And these are two of the biggest preachers that's on YouTube as far as social media. They all have a huge following, a big platform. So I wouldn't mind seeing Pastor Down and Pastor Gino Jennings Get together and duke it out on the stage, right? They he they both uh 
say they say what they got to say to each other. But Pastor Dow wanted a mutual um, ground, which is fair. You know, and he brings his camp. Pastor Gino just brings his camp, and they have a a, a debate on polygamy. Yeah, polygamy. Now, here's where the disagreement, and this is why it's taking Pastor Gino Jennings so long to respond. Pastor, so Pastor Dow gave him an open invitation. He sent the letter, which is proof. There's been other YouTubers that have came out and have testified that Pastor Dow from Straightway Church in Tennessee has basically sent Pastor Gino Jennings a letter to Philadelphia. Now, Pastor Gino Jennings claims that Pastor Dow contacted him by phone or whatever or whatnot, saying that Pastor Dow cussed him out. They had a disagreement. And Pastor Gino Jennings has basically talked about Pastor Dow in his pulpit. Responded to him. Said his name and everything. Now, my only argument with this here, and I'm basically going to call Gino Jennings out because it needs to be said. It needs to be done. And salute to the other YouTubers of have, who have called him out and it's basically uh, calling on Pastor Gino, Pastor Gino on, his, uh, on what he's been doing. Hold him accountable. But check this out. If you're Gino Jennings, why haven't you addressed this man by yourself in a private video outside the church? Now, those who have been watching this whole thing unfold, Pastor Dow more than once has addressed Gino Jennings several times. He's made multiple response videos. Pastor Dow has not only responded to Gino with his uh, camp, with the other elders from Straightway, but he's also addressed Gino privately by himself. Either in his car or in his uh, office. Right? Pastor Dow, as a man, as came at Gino Jennings, wanted to debate him and wanted to challenge him. And he just told Gino, okay, why are you, why is taking you, why you haven't responded? Stop lying on me. And Pastor Dow said when he first contacted Gino, even by phone, he's done it respectfully. So, and my, from what I've been seeing, Pastor Dow is a man of his word. He's been standing on his own principle. And if you watch all of Pastor Dow's videos responding, Gino, Pastor Dow has went to the Bible. You know, he's went to the Word. And he has said some valid points. And what he feels about a man, um, marriage and divorce and remarrying, having a second wife. He's made some, he's made some valid points. That I feel Gino needs to address. So my thing is, if Gino... Is, is willing to debate anybody on this platform openly, then why have you not accepted Pastor Dow and made an event? Why hasn't Pastor Gino Jennings set a date and made arrangements for this to happen? You know, is it because that he feels intimidated by Pastor Dow? Because Pastor Dow is also a military veteran and he sees the guns on Pastor Dow's wall, that big old uh, machine gun that looks like an assault rifle. Or a um, light machine gun on that man's wall. Is that it? It's because Pastor Dow is bigger than him. And got a huge following like he does. I mean, come on, Gino, what's wrong? And I hope Pastor Gino Genesis is watching this video. I hope all of um, First Church of Philadelphia is watching this video. Because, see, I'm somebody who's a man of God, too, right? Now, my church is uh, Freedom City Church, Pastor Jason Lozano, out here in Whittier, California. Now, one thing my pastor don't do, he don't call out other pastors' names, especially people he does not attend on debating or having a conversation with. Yes, Pastor Jason has the pastors that he associates with, like Jesse Duplantis, Bill Winston, right? Samuel Rodriguez, and then Pastor Mario Villa, who's his um, senior pastor, and uh, Pastor um, Pastor Appleshoff of Africa, and even Russell Evans, who he modeled his church from. You know, we model our ministry from uh, Planet Shakers. But Pastor Jason, even uh, Pastor Russell Evans and Pastor Mario Villa, who Pastor Jason was under before he, uh, he branched out, neither one of them are debating other preachers. That's, that's not something they do. They don't have time for that. Because if we teach about love, we teach about compassion. You know, if we not, if we're not going to debate somebody, you're not going to challenge somebody. We don't, we not going, we don't believe in doing that. But that's Pastor Jason. So for Pastor Gino Jennings 
to be calling people out, calling other pastors out. And if you look on a lot of Pastor Gino and Jen's videos, this man has actually debated other preachers. Now, the preachers and the people he's debated, these people are not as big as Pastor Dow is. Pastor Dow has way more subscribers, way more viewing, and he has a lot more other land than those other pastors. He has other churches too. Like Gino and Jenna's, Pastor Dow also has other churches that he's built within the United States and potentially the world. Pastor Dow travels too. So my thing, my problem with Pastor Gino Jenna's, and this is why I stopped listening to him and I unsubscribed to him. Because I'm somebody who honors a man of their word. I'm not, I grew up when your word got to be your bond. If you're going to call somebody out, call them people. If you're going to say you're going to openly challenge somebody, then don't run and don't, don't go silent. Don't go MIA from a challenge. If another man challenges you, you got to respond. If not, that makes you look like a punk, a chump, a certain B word that I'm not going to use on here. The word I used for Carcino for Light when I did that video, I'm not going to use on here. But, yeah, a certain B word. Start with B, ends with H. A sissy, whatever you want to say, right? Makes you weak. I'm not going to say sissy, but it makes you weak. Weak as a man. It makes you a certain P word. Right? Because... Again, like, and the problem with Pastor Gino Jones, I feel he's way too arrogant. He said out of his own mouth, I will, I'll, I'll issue an open debate to all pastors, all disciples. Your pastor, he called out multiple people's names. And Pastor Gino Jones has called out multiple people throughout the years that he's been preaching, including celebrities. Like, when he came at Beyonce for her own album cover. And this man know he's too old to be looking at Beyonce. You called out Kanye West, despite that Kanye has changed and turned his life around. And Kanye's been doing positive music. Over his last two albums. But suddenly that's not good enough. He, he, this man has really talked about Kanye. And you got to pray for Kanye. Right? But he's talked against Kanye West. Getting talked about all these people. Right? All these celebrities. And I'm about to show you exactly how he did it. I'm, I'm going to show you, right? The people he called out. Just an example of it. But for Gino to be running his mouth like that. Saying you're not going to run for nobody. But when Pastor Dow is challenging you, you don't respond. I got a problem with that. I got an issue with that. I can't respect that at all. I'm sorry. And I don't care who gets offended by this. I don't care if you get angry, you get sad. Gino started it on himself, as far as I'm concerned. Gino caused this, caused himself, caused Pastor Dow to do this to him. And for the for his flock, the people of uh of First Church, you gotta start holding your own pastor accountable. Cause to make all these videos about Pastor Dow, when Pastor Gino Jennings is the one that said he'll openly challenge anybody, that's just wrong. Y'all giving Pastor Dow reasons to justify what he did. Remember, Gino was the one that initiated the challenge. All Pastor Dow was doing was, was accepting. Gino Jenner said he'll debate anybody, right? Well, Pastor Dow even said that he'll come to Pastor Gino Jenner's church on some away game stuff. He's willing to give Pastor Gino Jenner's home field advantage. Pastor Dow said him and, and Straightway will come to um, First Church of Philadelphia. But I believe Pastor Gino Jenner's don't want to accept that because he's, he's, he's intimidated. He's scared. Because if Pastor Dow come, you no, know, he's gonna bring up he's gonna bring a large crowd with him. I believe Pastor Gino Jens don't want to uh challenge Pastor Dow because it won't it, he can't bully this man. He can't get everybody to um, agree with him. Because Pastor Dow gonna bring his people that's gonna you know, gonna have his side and gonna have his back. It's gonna be equal battlefield. I don't, I don't think Pastor Gino Jens wants to do that. It's like everything Pastor Dow is saying about Gino is true as a man. Like, 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 forget the forget the religious side of it. Forget the word as a man. Everything Pastor Dow is saying about Gino Jennings is proven to be true. Because all this time, and we going into this is August. We almost we almost going into September. We almost going into the uh, late in the year. Pastor Gino Jennings has had that open challenge months in advance, months ago. He said this months ago, right? Here we in in August, the middle of August, and still no response from Gino. I have not seen Gino now once address this man privately on a video. Y'all show me if he did. Maybe he has it in private. I don't know. But if Pastor Gino Jennings really addressed Pastor Dow, talking to him by himself, I still ain't seen no video. How Pastor Dow was in his car talking about Gino, 
G was not doing the same thing for Pastor Dow, I noticed. Now, I understand that Pastor Gino Jennings recently got sick and was sick for weeks. I'm glad the man is recovered and he's doing better. But come on, man. You too old to be acting like that. For you to be sitting up there challenging people, right? Calling out these names, calling out T.D. Jakes, calling out Crepo Dollar, saying you would debate anybody, but here, Pastor Dow, we're just as big as a follower as you, wants to accept your challenge, and you don't respond? Like, come on, man, you're too old for that. This is Gino Jesus that's in, his, that's in, in between 60 and 70-something years old. You're too old to be acting like that, brother. And again, I'm holding Gino accountable for his own words. I'm holding Gino Jennings accountable for his own actions. So when you get C-Rock, Smooth, and that Tony Harvin want to respond at me because of it, look, I ain't did nothing wrong. And by the way, C-Rock, Smooth, and Tony Harvin, you might as well should have just stayed out of it. Them brothers ain't making this any easier. You added fuel to the fire going at Pastor Dow. Because now you're making it seem like Pastor Gino Jennings paid you two to go after Pastor Dow. Yeah, I'm talking to them too. C-Rock, Smooth, and Tony Harvin. I'm dressing them too as well. Because those two made it harder. They, ma they made this much worse. Those two gave Pastor Dow reasons to keep making videos about Gino Jennings. So for those of you at First Trucks, if you tired of Pastor Dow talking against your pastor, then you need to speak up and tell Pastor Gino Jennings to try to address this man on some one-on-one -on -one stuff in private with his own camera phone. Have somebody record it for him. Let him stand in front of that phone or that camera and address Pastor Dow. And just tell Pastor Dow the truth. You don't want to challenge him for your reasons and get on by your business. And then I respect Gino if he does that. But the fact that Gino won't address this man privately by himself or, let's like say, get, or get Williams involved or get people in his camp to go at Pastor Dow, like Pastor Dow has made lives about, has made, um, his, has went live on YouTube addressing Pastor Gino Jennings, then that's not somebody I, could, I should respect. That's not somebody you should be following. Because that makes Pastor Gino Jennings out to be a false prophet. His word is not his bond. He doing all this talking. But ain't trying to, but don't want to fight back. He's just selling wolf tickets. And let me show y'all something. And just let y'all know, I'm not a supporter of Pastor Dow. I'm not a member of Straightway. I already told you what church I'm a part of, what ministry I'm a part of, right? So don't go out here, you know, accusing me of something I'm not. I'm not a fan of Pastor Dow. I've only been, uh, I only uh, knew, known Pastor Dow since he uh, first responded to, um, uh, G. Craig Lewis, and that's another false prophet that was in the wrong. But look at this, right? I want y'all to see all these videos is of Pastor Gino Jennings debating other people. Look at that. The Muslim, look, he, he, this man uh, debates people from the nation, right? The Muslim Amin Callus, right? Look at this. Versus the nation of Islam. I want y'all to all to see this. Look at that. Going at Jesse Lee Peterson. Come on now. These are people he's challenged. Look at that. Crossfire with Norman Oliver. I want y'all all to see this. You can challenge all these other pastors, but you won't pass, or you won't uh, accept uh, Pastor Dow's uh, challenge. I, I can't get down with that. Look at that. Pastor Gino Jr. versus uh, Pastor Gary Hawks. And he's even uh, he's even uh, challenged a, a, a man from the LGBT too. He challenged a gay man before in his pulpit. I saw that episode before. I'm showing y'all this now, man. Gino is ducking and dodging from Pastor Dow. He's voiding this man. There's a reason behind that. Look at that, right? You go at the brother uh, Razul. And that, those two got heated. That almost got into a fight. I mean, you debated this man here. But why are you ducking and dodging from Pastor Dow? Like, even if Pastor Dow is using a certain language, like ass and shit and all that, Still, man, debate this man, address this man in an actual video. And tell him why you don't want to debate him. And you don't want to waste your time. Like, look at this, man. Look at that. What is a woman, right? He's doing, he's doing all this, right? Calling people out, trying to debate all these people. But you don't want to the debate Pastor. Look at that. Versus Farrakhan. Like, come on now, man. Like, what's up with that? He's showing fear. It's like you scared of, of Pastor Dow. Now, I want y'all to pay very close attention to this before I end this video. Because I want people to pay attention. Again, is this, this is the arrogance and cockiness that I don't like. The Perry became rich by committing abomination. Yeah. Dressing like a woman. Ain't nothing funny about it. 
Go ahead, brother. Acting like a sissy. Now up trying to be a motivational speaker, a preacher. <laughs> still making money from a deer and still trying to motivate. Motivate what? Who, who's motivating? <laughs> Is it Madea or Tyler? Yeah. You trifling no good things that play with the name of the Lord Jesus and you Jesus. preachers are scared to say anything because you feel honored for these fakers coming in your church. That's right. When Tyler gave Jake that million dollars, Jake looked like something that came out of a carnival. Yes, he did. Tyler went off on that fake tongue. Oh, son of a stop. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him. They laid his hands on the devil. And Jake stood there on television. <laughs> <laughs> then after he did that, he went into another thing. And this month, before I continue, God will use anybody for his glory. Don't think he won't. See, what Pastor Jesus is not telling you that in the word, it says God will use anybody. God speaks to you through other people. Now, Tyler Perry is doing to have the right intentions. It's really following God. And it's in his word. And it's really trying to change like that. That I don't see what's wrong with it. When Tyler Perry is doing a lot of good things outside the church too. Even outside the dress. And Tyler Perry stated that he only, the only reason why he even wears the Medea dress because his fans keep wanting him to do it. I've seen Tyler Perry actually play in films and play in movies without the dress. That uh, Gio and Jones will never mention because he don't pay attention. He's not. He's, he don't do his homework. He didn't do his homework in there. He's just going at that man. But before I continue, man, you can't knock Tyler Perry for uh, speaking inside uh, Joel Osteen's church neither. You can't knock him for that. Because that man did give his testimony what God did for him and how God blessed him, which was very anointed. We have all followed short to go to God. Ain't nobody perfect. But my question to Gino is he actually praying for these people he name dropping. The devil kept the devil kept uppercut. Yeah, upper, that's right. <laughs> that wasn't no Holy Ghost. No. That was a million dollar ghost. That's right. Oh no Holy Ghost. That was a million dollar ghost. You sick religious things. Keep playing with God. Yeah. You're going to remember when your Lord appear up in the heavens. That's right. Go back to the book of Matthew quickly now so I can knock off Matthew 7, 21. Back in Matthew 7 and verse Read 21. Fast. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord. Who give me correct time, brothers? Read quick. Shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Yes. But he that doeth the will of my Father with Showing you. That's right. You're going to hell. I want to show you in a conversation. Yeah. So Denzel, Richard, if you're brave, we'll be reaching out to you. Wonderful. Samuel, you can cuss until the Lord come. Yeah. I'll be reaching out to you. Now y'all heard that right. He's received doing this now. When I, my question for Gino Jennings again, I hope he's really watching him, Williams. All people from his camp of uh, First Church, I hope y'all all listening, right? If Gino is going to call out these people, right, and these are all big-time celebrities, right, that he says is going to hell, if you calling them out to, if you reaching out to them for Open Challenge, then why are you not reaching out to Straightway? Why would you not reach out to Pastor Dow as a man? Why are you not setting up a debate, an actual service between you and Pastor Dow? But you're going to call these people out. I, I don't get it. And my thing is, you should not want these people to go to hell. What Pastor Gino Jennings and his church need to do is pray for these people. You don't talk about these celebrities. Why would you want anybody to go to hell? Even God don't really want nobody going to hell. He has to send you hell because for, for your disobedience and for your sins that you have to answer for. But the one thing about God, God gives everybody another chance. God gives people the right to repent. God gives people a chance to redeem themselves. But for his namesake, me, I don't wish no celebrity, no artist, no entertainer, despite how crazy they may be, how even they may be, I wish they all could change so they get a chance to go to heaven. If John Ramirez, the biggest warlock, which by the way, Pastor Gino Jennings ain't going to debate him neither. They ain't going to call him out. He's too chicken. But yeah, if he can change, 
if John Ramirez can change from being a Satanist to then worshiping God and living for God, and we've seen Black China turn her life around, turn over a new leaf, we've seen Kanye West, The Undertaker, Mark Galloway. If those people could change, then don't you think these two can, Denzel Washington and Samuel Jackson could change too? Now, Denzel is also a man of God. And he displayed that when Will Smith slapped Chris Rock upside the head. Falling behind his wife, Jada, that, initially, that started all that. Denzel said that the devil will come for you in your highest moment. Denzel believes in God too. Believe it or not. So he need to be careful. Jim and Jim need to stop it. You need to stop it. You're too old for that. And y'all, that's that's my take on this whole thing. Pastor Dow has officially defeated Pastor Gino Jennings. Until I see Pastor Gino Jennings address this man in an actual video on some like man stuff, on some G stuff, like in private, without his church. Cause don't and see that's the problem I don't like about Gino Jennings. He attacks people in the pulpit. Right? He goes up in his pulpit and acts arrogant, acts cocky, right? All this attacking people, man, it's, it's like, come on, I can't get down with that. This man goes up in here and he addresses, he calls out these names, but brother, you're not even talking to these people outside the church. You really ain't. You're not praying for these people. You're not wanting these people to get saved. You're not actually helping. And that's the type of religion I don't like. I don't like that type of Christianity. I don't. That's why I'm not religious. And in my church of Freedom City, we preach against religious spirit. Pastor Gino and Jesus has an example of a religious spirit. He finds everything wrong with somebody and wants them to go to hell without trying to help them. He condemns them. He rebukes them. But you don't actually pray for them. You're not trying to help them. You don't invite them. Like I said, you're going to be reaching out to them. But Pastor Dow, but you actually said in your pulpit that you'll open and debate anybody. But you won't challenge Pastor Dow. That's a problem there. Y'all, that's a red flag. That means he has something. To, Pastor Gino Jesus got something to hide. And he's scared to lose. Maybe this is why. It's fear. He's scared that he can't intimidate Pastor Dow and he can't challenge him. Because all the people he debated, including young man Israel, that's old enough to be his grandson. Those are people he was actually able to dominate because he had a large crowd. He had the home field advantage. But here Pastor Dow is going to bring most of the straightway church win. He's going to bring a whole crowd. Pastor Dow going to come with like 50 people. And that's what he don't like. Maybe Pastor Gino and Genesis is scared of that. That's equal playing field. He can't dominate. He can't be in control. Remember, Pastor Dow told everybody, right, that this man didn't want to accept him because he wanted to be a he wanted a mutual moderator. He didn't want Williams to moderate, which he which is fair. Because when you do a debate, it's supposed to be somebody mutual. In all of these debates, Pastor Gino Jennings had Williams moderating. You're not supposed to do that. You can't that, that can't happen. In all of this man's debates, it was always one sided. With Pastor Dow, that ain't finna happen. Oh no, he's gonna bring all the Hebrew Israelites. He's gonna, he gonna bring it. That man gonna bring his church. He's gonna bring the people that believe in his in his following, right? And what he believes in. He's gonna, he gonna bring it. Pastor Dow gonna bring that fire. And again, I'm gonna say this last time. I do not support Pastor Dow. I'm somebody on mutual side. But I gotta call it like I see it. The fact that Pastor Geno Genesis is not responding to Pastor Dow at all outside that pulpit. The fact that inside of his car, in his backyard, in his house, in his church during the week when ain't no service being on, going for it. The fact that Pastor Gino Jennings is not making a, a video, a separate video, privately addressing Pastor Dow for everybody to see. And either accepting the challenge or telling him why you don't want to challenge him. You want to at least issue an apology. Say that maybe he would say that he repents, he got off on the wrong foot, he had a misunderstanding. The fact that he won't do those type of videos is the reason why Pastor Gino Jennings is lost. All Pastor Dow did is expose this man for being fake, for being weak, a weak leader. Because if you're going to do something, you got to stay on your word. Because in the hood, your gangster going to get tested. And I'm from the hood. I'm an ex-crip from Long Beach. Okay? Me and the men and some of the men in my family have been about that life of game banging. Now, we'll turn our lives around. I'm not a part of that no more. But the reason why you see a lot of these rap, these artists, are always in trouble because they always got to uh, they gotta prove themselves. They, they in that lifestyle for life. So every day, the gangsters is getting tested. Same thing with the word. God tests us every day. It's called spiritual warfare. To test your, uh, your loyalties to him. 
Now, Pastor Dow and Pastor Gino Jennings, that's an example of spiritual warfare. They both got disagreements about the Bible, about polygamy. One side is one, the other is saying another thing. And Pastor Gino Jennings can't handle the spiritual warfare that's been put in front of him. Okay? So, whoever can, that's going to go on to this video, y'all get mad all you want to. Y'all know my haters going to come. But that's, that's just facts. So, to see Rock Smooth and Tony Harvin, to Williams and the rest of the people of uh, First Church, you can't get mad at Pastor Dow. Don't blame Pastor Dow. Don't accuse Pastor Dow of being this, that, and the other. When Pastor Gino Jin is here, did say in his own pulpit, in front of his own audience, and the viewers who watched the video on the live stream, that he's willing to challenge anybody in open debate. And I've just showed you on this video that this man challenged the following names. T.D. Jakes that you see here, Tyler Perry, Denzel Washington, and Samuel L. Jackson. Right? He said he'd be reaching out to him to uh, challenge him up in the pulpit. This man has also called out Greffo Dollar too, Joel Osteen. He's called out Donald Trump to come debate him. Like, come on now, he's really said this out of his own mouth. So Pastor Dow is not in the wrong at all. Pastor Dow stood by his word. Pastor Dow quoted his scriptures from the Bible. Since Pastor Gino Jesus encouraged everybody to go to the Bible. And maybe that's a problem too. Pastor Gino Jesus can't can't change Pastor Dow's mind. He can't challenge him on scripture because Pastor Dow also went to the scripture. Maybe that's it, right? But yeah, Pastor Dow won that, he's, he's winning the battle. Pastor Gino Jennings has been defeated. Okay? That's it, y'all. That's the video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you feel like. I thank everybody for watching and tuning in. And I'm out. And like I always say,